hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine third person shooter series so in this episode i'm going to set up the footsteps system uh, for this character actually for this character and all other characters in the game that means enemy characters so as you can see here in this demonstration you can see footstep sounds and when you work on this metal palette you see a different sound you hear a different sound similarly when you work on this wooden palette and you hear a different sound so that's the part i'm going to start today and if i give you a little brief about how do i going to implement this thing this system it's like this so i have defined several surface types in this let me show you under the physics and under physical surfaces i have defined several surface types and then i have defined couple of physical materials like this concrete dirt flesh glass metal rock water and wood and then i have assigned each of those surface relevant surface type to each of these physical material and then yeah that's the setup and then i have added animation notifiers to the character animations let me show you one Yeah, like this footstep left and footstep right and then using those notifiers I'm uh, and also I have defined yeah I get this footstep left footstep right animation notifier events and then using this BPI character footstep uh, interface I have defined this footsteps function and then finally I'm calling that function which I have implemented in the character blueprint to detect to play the relevant footstep sound using by detecting what is the type of surface underneath the foot step the underneath the foot of the character at that particular moment so that's the way I am going to implement it all right so footsteps first i'll yeah i have imported these sounds these footstep sounds to the projects project already and now i'll open my character and start implementing footsteps based on the type of uh, the surface that he is stepping on so to test these right uh, let me make some wooden surfaces oh, that's not necessary we can do that later first let me implement footsteps so let me open my character okay so here is my character and where should I play the footsteps well for that I think first we need to add animation notifiers let me open this some animations I have used so let's uh, start with the walking animation okay let's go to the side view oh. 
okay this is the left foot and this is the right foot I'll add a notify here I don't have notifies yet foot step left the reason I'm adding left and right instead of, of adding a single notifier like footstep is because I want to extend I want to use the same notifier to print the footprint on the ground as well so therefore I need to know whether it is the left foot or the right foot okay this is the I'll add another notifier footstep right and we have to set any changes now all right so this is for the working animation and the running animation we already have that notifiers now this is left and this is right right I yeah just like that I'll add animation notifiers to all the animations this is left I'll just do it here and we have set of crouching as well I'll just do it in the off screen without recording but you know how to do it okay now I'm done adding animation notifiers now let's open this blend space and now make sure on the notify trigger mode you have selected highest weighted animations big animation because you have footstep notifier for the work animation and also running animation so if you are in somewhere like here you will hear double footsteps so to prevent that use this option in here and also in the display space as well right now open the VPS soldier animation blueprint and yeah here uh, let's go to this vpi character animation event graph if you don't have that you can if you want you can create just create in this event graph as well but i want to do, use it do it here to keep it organized right now here i'll add footstep left and footstep right these are the events that will be fired when I when the footstep triggers are being fired from the animations now 
Let's get the character reference. And then, but we don't have a function to call in the character yet for the footsteps. So, okay, let's go to this BPI character and add a new function for step as an input I'll get a boolean right left so if it is true it will be the right footstep otherwise it will be the left footstep okay now let's go here and call footstep using bpi character for the left i will keep it false for the right i'll keep it true but for now i don't need to worry about that because we are not working on footprints today all right now here do we need a new event graph or what shall we do it right here mm -hmm. let's just use this one sfx name this one as fx because uh, i don't have a proper name for that at the moment right and here let's implement footstep event which we defined in the bpi character interface like this and yeah so when we get the footstep event well first i'll just place sound at location and for the sound I'll just use this footstep generic and for the location I'll just give get at location All right, now let's see if that is working. okay it is working and i'll stop uh, this episode at this point in the next episode i'll show you how to play different sounds based on the type of the surface that character is stepping on for example if the character step on some concrete surface there should be a, a relevant sound if he step on a wooden surface there should be a relevant sound so i will cover that part in the next episode and yeah if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching so also you can access the source code of this project if you are a member of my patreon club and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye